at Stern Spen Nature Preserve. It's a site that's considered of statewide ecological significance. And the question is, why is this place so special? It's because of the piles of gravel left by the retreat of the glaciers. And when, when it rains, water infiltrates into that gravel and begins to move laterally. And then that water emerges typically along the toe of the slope. And this water, it, in almost direct uh, opposition or direct difference from bogs. Bogs are acidic, but fens are alkaline. And so the water was al was became alkaline as it filtered through the gravel deposits left by those glaciers. In Illinois, there's only about 120 acres of high quality graminoid fen and that's the type of fen wetland that we're working to restore here today. In fact, where you're standing, it's peaty soil. And that water moves through the ground, moves through the peat, and keeps it saturated. And so, uh, it really is, is a special place. Um, again, only 120 acres of high quality fen in the entire state of Illinois. It's been protected as part of the nature preserve system. Now, since it's been protected, it hasn't, that protects the site from intrusions by roads, um, utility lines and corridors, but it doesn't protect the site from invasive species. And what we're doing here today, along with all the great volunteers, is that we're removing some of the invasive brush. Maybe you can see the volunteers behind me, yeah. but they're doing a great job. Uh, in a period uh, when the, this site was not burned, in fact, part of the management tool that we routinely use today is controlled burning. But in the absence of fire, these trees, most of these are European buckthorns. They shouldn't even be here. Uh, got established and they wick moisture out of the ground. So what we're doing today is removing the invasive European buckthorns and I couldn't thank the volunteers enough for their hard work. We come out here once a month and we've really been able to make great progress. In fact, if you turn around and pan behind you, you see the uh, purple joe pie weed that's come in. That all was brush last winter. And so we've cleared out a lot of brush and we're gonna continue to do that. So uh, I couldn't be more pleased with the work of the volunteers. Uh, we really have benefited from the volunteers, the defenders. This site is owned by the Crystal Lake Park District. Bruce out here is, and the Park District have been great partners. And so what we're doing is actually uh, getting together to cut the brush and uh, I think also to uh, enjoy each other's company. I enjoy talking to this guy all the time, Ted. He's an inspiration to me here. <laughs>